The War Athletic Training, or WAT, program has recently expanded to assist units all over Fort Benning. The program applies athletic training techniques to soldiers in an effort to minimize lost training time due to injuries. This team spent the day with Fort Benning senior leaders to familiarize them with the program's objectives. David Wright has the story. Working on such concepts as core strength, gait assessment, and biomechanics, this group of senior leaders is being put through the paces by members of the Warrior Athletic Training Program. The Leadership Development Program arranged for this day so senior leaders could gain not only self-improvement, but also awareness of the positive impact of the WAT program on the maneuver force, specifically those going through initial entry training. This gives us a great opportunity for those folks that are, that are either writing doctrine or developing training plans to see what other activities DOT-D or the Directorate of Training and Doctrine are involved with in moving initiatives forward for the Maneuver Center to make the training better here at Fort Benning. The WAT program takes the concept of the soldier athlete to the next level, applying athletic training knowledge and technique to the maneuver force. The athletic trainers are licensed, certified sports medicine professionals. And so this is a great opportunity for professionals that are you know, well versed in, you know, in, in physical training and in preventing injuries to show us what the right things to do are to make the training better here at Fort Benning. These professionals are present in the field with the units. By teaching proper technique, many injuries can be prevented or treated on site, thus minimizing lost training time. The idea is they have this care right in their unit. It takes all, a lot of the pressure of dealing with muscular skeletal issues off our overworked TMC group and our overworked PT. So a lot of things we can deal with right in our units. Overall goal, save the Army money, save our cadre time, and keep our soldiers in training. The program began on Sand Hill working closely with IET, but has now expanded to encompass the entire Maneuver Center of Excellence, which makes it easier to identify best training practices and to share that knowledge throughout the program. David Wright, Fort Benning TV.